Hello there guys, this is Purpose out here and welcome to a new series for me. We have played this game before. For those of you who don't know, this is Dynasty Tactics. It came out years and years ago on the PS2. Probably one of my all-time favourite games. And it's in case you don't know, it's from like it's the same creators as the Dynasty Warriors franchise, which is based around the Three Kingdoms era in like 190 to 220 kind of AD give or take in ancient China. So the three characters you have is Liu Bei, Sao Tzu and Sun Tzu. And we're going to do it a little bit different because we have already played this game. And I'm, I make the first choice that you get and then I will roll a dice, or a die I should say. And whatever it rolls is whatever happens when with the choices. So we'll just go into it as Sao Tzu first. So Advent. So in this game they call him Cow Cow, but the correct pronunciation for him is Sao Tzu. And I'm not gonna pretend I'm gonna get everybody right, but I know that one. And if you do the, if you play the later Dynasty Warriors, they do change it to Sao Tzu. So we're against Li Zhu, I believe, here at the city of Luoyang, which is where the emperor was being captured. Yeah, so pierce, pincer, or shift. Probably go with shift. So here we've got Sao Sao. Jahu Wan, who is Sao Sao's cousin. Jahu Dwayne, who is Jahu Wan's brother. And Guo Jia, who is a strategist. And in fact, I should show you what they've got. They've got Li Zhu, the commander. They have Guo Si, uh, just a basic horseman. In this game, the enemy get kind of buffs, if you will, if you outnumber them. And they get random horsemen and footmen, infantrymen, and archers, I believe that's the four types that you get. Uh, you move in order of your morale. So and I just gave my uh, Sao Sao a boost of morale. One your guys fight better with morale, but also 76, 63, 60 and 56. And then it's 54, 53, 53. If they've got the same morale, I believe it's leadership you go by. Well their strength is the exact same. Leadership's 26, this is 22, yep. So he's got flank and revive, so let's let's maybe in fact let's do that. Uh, you would switch there so you can charge there. Now this all depends on if he goes exactly where I want him to go, which is where Sao Sao is. And this guy's charging, yeah. And 
and now he can use flank. Okay, yep, so that really didn't work out. But that's okay. So I could use flank and to charge. Or I could actually get a three combo out of it. Hit him in the back for five morale. And you use charge, which will be received by a flank and then a charge. So that'll be a three combo, and if you get combos, you can sometimes capture them. But you want to capture as many as you can, whether you want to use them or not. It means that basically the enemy can't use them against you again. It's as simple as that. The more you capture, the easier it becomes later on in the game. Just like that. Right, tactic acquired and then tactic restored because you get the killing below. And for some reason, he wanted to move right into the middle of us. Right, so if I switch into his charge. shouldn't kill him I don't think but it will do enough damage that he's hefty weakened there we go in order to win a I'm going to say a match a, a battle I should actually say all you have to do is kill the flag bearer the commander you don't have to kill anybody else but the more people you kill, the more deeds you get, and that's how you level up in this game, to command more troops. Goja is level 0 and has 2,000 troops. So what every commander stat gets is 2,000 troops plus your level times 1,000. So we'll see exactly what Sal Sal's level is. He's level 4, so his maximum troops is 6,000. Level 1, 3,000. Level 2, 4,000. It's... So to speak, it's as simple as that to work out. Let's use revive. Strong generals do not lead weak men. And that gives us a morale boost as well. And Jahu Yuan, you can start breaking down the gate. Shoot you for there yet. So now Jahu Dwayne also has might. Now I'll try and tell you about as much as I can. I don't remember everything, but every person has a skill. Might increases your in fact what button right to try and there we go. Morale eighty or above attack plus twenty percent. Unlimited use of intelligent tactics. Improved movement in bad terrain and unlimited use of int and leadership tactics and your brute. If you're next to an enemy with morale 40 or less, you get the attack plus 20%. So they all have good, they're, they're all pretty good in obviously certain situations. And the good thing about your archers, you can fire over the walls. doesn't do too much damage but it takes a wee bit of morale off them which in turn you will do more damage that 
that should be this one destroyed, yep. And you just fire at him. See a wee bit more troops damage there. And he's standing back again. So destroy this here. You've got charge, but just go in and just a basic attack. 613. Now we'll do the double tactic. A pierce into a charge. And I quite like how it shows you the different terrain, like they've come out through the buildings for the pierce. There we go. No, can I not show you for that? Let's just keep... There we go. I think an attack from behind from Jehu Dwayne might get, yep. When you've got might active, it's crazy. So that's us. We have victory to start with, which is always handy. So here's our deeds. So everybody leveled up except from Sal Sal, which is fine by me. Learned a new tactic repel, so oh, Chang Ang, it's no Luo Yang we're fighting at. My lord, please forgive me. What is it? Liu Bei, who is protecting Zhao Pi, has been attacked by Lu Bu and is requesting reinforcements. Hmm, what is your suggestion? Sending reinforcements as requested is one possibility, but Lu Bu has aligned himself with his self-proclaimed Emperor Yuan Shu. If we strike him, we can distract Lu Bu. At any rate, it's an excellent chance to mobilise our troops. Depending on my lord's decision, our strategy from now on will be greatly affected. Please consider the matter carefully and make your decision wisely. It's decided. Too bad. Yes, sir. So this is the first one that I'll decide. I'll, I'll decide the first one for everything, and then after that, we'll do the dice. So answering Liu Bei's request for reinforcement, Sal Sal has formed an alliance with Liu Bei. Wipe out Liu Bu within the time given, or wipe out Yuan Shu within the time given. So we've Jun Yu who's joined the ranks, Zhu Huang. Yeah. There's Zhu Chang. There's Liu Yang. So we are blue. And if you look around the world, there's a lot of. They could add black as anything. There's quite a lot of little lords about. If it's neutral, it means you can't fight them. So the only bad thing about this game, I wish you could just, you could technically do what you wished at certain points. So free officer is any of them friends with Mao G. No, that's how you recruit random people. You get them friends. So army. Give him that, he doesn't need that, so we'll change Goja to a builder, gives us some good buildings. Change you to a cavalry, and you the same, it's better than a horseman. And we'll go and start the clean war on Yuan Shu. So we'll form up another army, led by Zhu Huan. The strategist can be Zhu and the generals. Sal Ren and. We'll go for Yujin. And Li Diang can have an army with Guo Si. Oh. There we go. So Li Diang's army, you can move all the way over here. And Zhu Huan's. You can move to take that for me, then you'll join with Sal Sal. But let's sort your army out. Unit type, you could be a builder as well. I like to have a weak the odd 
builder on me. Oh, you could be an arch. Mm, probably not. Just keep it at that. So end the turn there. So we'll declare war on Yuan Shu. Yuan Shao is declared war on Gunjun Zan, and that's his capital. And Yuan Shao wins. So we've got Yujin in our ranks there. And every now and then you would notice there'll be more than. There we go, perfect. It was only Lee Zhu there earlier, but now you've got Zhong Yao. There we go. In fact, in fact, no, let's leave Lee Drew. I can get him another. I can get him later. Let him just level up there. Because they level up slowly when they're not in anybody's army. And Zhu Huang, you come there, you join. Next time we'll get seven turns left. Sao Hong. I'm sure that's Sao Sao's cousin, Dian Vesia, he's a good general to have. But I think we'll hold out just now. I, you don't want to get everybody too early. Because then they're not. That like you can't level up everybody. And they're harmless. Now, that is the item that I wanted. That item gives you some experience for cavalrymen. So I've taken some extra land, which doesn't really matter in the long term. Your 36 experience, that doesn't matter. Sal Sal, you're 54, so item, give them the harness, gives them 84 experience. Now you need 70 to be a Brigadier's, but there's a little kind of trick for you. If you just take the item off, then for some reason, it still counts. Gojaz brought the Yi, why not? And Zhu I like to take my time in the game because, like, so there's Shu Yu who's appeared in Zun Yu. And it's just good when there's more people about that you can get. Three turns left, so I'll start to think about taking it now just in case I get beat. Take that, I'll no, take that this turn. See my Lang, he's a spy. So name him as an envoy. Now they don't always work, but if these here, it can give you extra because you can have a maximum of two armies, which is eight people, in one battle. But if you've got a spy, you basically change that. And you can have two spies to make it a maximum of ten. So we have nine against Yuan Shu's single arm, which will be probably four. Yuan Shu, Ji Ling, Li Bo, and Zhang Zhu, I believe. Pincer, surround, or boost. We'll go for surround. Ji Lang, Zhang Jun, Li Bo, and Yuan Shu. Right, so you're the builder, and so are you. So you want to kind of hang about here for a couple of turns to get morale up. One, it means you start to move first, which to me I think is priceless. But it also means that you do more damage. And every depot which I'm just about to build, you can just stay there. But you can go there. And then you'll get the two of them now. Every depot within three squares of you, you get five morale per turn. So I like to just build a depot, usually two to be honest. You can build a tower to do damage, but I'm happy enough with the depot. And if I 
just build it there. Most of the people are in range of them both. But also what you can do is you can heal with your builders or your specials. So you can heal troops and it gives them an extra 2 morale I believe. So there's everybody getting a morale up so let's just hang fire. So let's just get the first 4, 5, 6 people so far. That's 7, 8, 9. I think we'll have everybody... And I know we don't need to heal up physical troops, but it gives them extra 2 morale. So that's why we just keep healing. So there that's us moving first already. Which it gives you an advantage, even if you just attack with two guys, you can destroy one of their full units before, before you actually take a single point of damage. And especially when you get buffs like Guard, Might. Right, so he doesn't need it this turn, so let's heal you, because he will get the 10 to go up full, if you go there you'll get 10 this turn. Instead of healing him too, why don't you stand there and you can get extra. But let's heal you there. And they're pushing up to fight me. boost yeah. so that's him at 100 right so next on I roll in fact he can go to there So let's just start to think about getting getting tactics kind of thought of for a combo. You can just stay there. You can go there and you'll get both and still heal him. I want to capture one of these guys because you want sure can get me a good guy later on. And if you capture any one of these four, they're all friends with each other. So then you'll be able to get him. So make somebody unable to act. Probably just make it him. So this is a trump you get for having good strategists with high intelligence. Just do it to make a big combo. I mean, there's no way I can do it any other way. I don't think that is actually. No, there's no, because I kind of get there. Uh, right, now, I just need to go for the two combos, hoping to be able to get more. I can use circle and ambush as much as I want. So circle goes round, pushes them forward, and it also confuses them. Right, 
Me no talking. So we don't take on the morale, just did this just to get a big combo. That'd have been 50 morale, he would just have got extra there. Right, so you can go there. You do ambush, which is surround. You can do there. Then you could charge back, and then, yep. I don't want to attack, so I don't want to kill him. <clears throat> so you do repel. You won't get a chance because you'll do ambush, which will bring him down here. One, two, three. It's not quite what I had in plan. It's probably still the best we'll get. And then it also brings Sal Sal back up out for danger because he's our like commander, flag bearer, whatever you will. So if he dies, then we lose him. We lose the battle. Oh, nice damage there. So we never captured him, unfortunately. And also we captured him without having any damage done to us. Which is also important, that's us wiped out there, technically their base commander, because Jilin is a decent warrior. So we wiped him out without anything coming back on us. So you can go there, you can go there surround, you can repel and you can pierce. And you can switch. So you just attack, that's the first technical damage we take, but not very much at all. Let's bring him down into our lair. So switch into charge won't kill him. In fact, let's just attack. Let's just follow up there. Yeah. You stay there, uh huh. In fact, do you think you move before? Yep, you move, so this will be surround, charge, switch, charge, repel. If I've worked that out correctly. And not only should it kill him, it should capture him. That's him dead already. Wow. 
Wow, 13,000 damage at the end there. Yep, definitely captured him. Tactic acquired and restored. So that was a good combo. It actually worked out slightly better than I had hoped for. Ambush, let's I could do flanking on that but has morale right down. No, let's just ambush him. It confuses him and gets him out of the way. Let's pursue. So I'm weakening him but not too much. Like I don't want to kill him. But that's his morale down. And this will bring his morale down a bit. Tactic acquired, perfect. And let's just get an action to move on to him. To put you in at the back here just keeps moving to get used to somebody. Let's just heal up, why not? 473 per ton, nice. That's actually really good. I'm 267 I'm actually quite happy with as well. Wonder if it's wonder if it goes with what your morale is as well. 406, oh, I'm really good at that ceiling. Perfect, I was hoping South South could go there. Circle. And in case you are wondering, the speed at the top left hand corner does go down all the time. It has an emulator I'm using, which is PCSX2. So the odd times the speed does go down slightly. So Pierce, you've got a good pursuit, you've got charge, you've got ambush. Uh, and then you can use switch and him, and then you use surround and switch again. So this should actually, wait, I'll double check if it's sorted, yep. This should actually capture Lebo as well, which would be good. Now your troops don't fully reheal after every battle. After every stage you do, so like so our mission was to beat Johan Shu. So if we do this here, which I think it will take a miracle to be fair for him to beat us now. Oh, we're getting a, I call it a critical hat. I don't know if it's critical or special. Or I don't know what, but it goes all slow motion. Captured. In fact, I could switch there and then he could go there. Perfect. And then it'll bring Jehu Dwayne in the picture as well. You may as well just heal because that's all you do. So it'll be that or in switch. I don't think Zhu Zhuang will get to do a tactic. You 
doesn't really matter now. So this is us winning this battle and we've, for some reason, only lost like a few hundred men. I would say less than a thousand men, not even a quarter of a unit or nothing, just less than a thousand men all in. And they lost every single man they had. And most people leveled up again. Goja, Jahu Dwayne and Jahu Yuan have leveled up again. Perfect. Ambush. Oh, that's that. That's fine. Oh, we've got the Mozu. Right. Dynasty. While well, Liu Bei and Liu Bu were fighting, Cao Cao defeated Yuan Shu. Liu Bei suffers defeat at the hands of Liu Bu and is forced to flee. Liu Bu has eliminated Liu Bei. Continuing on, Cao Cao has decided to attack Liu Bu. So, hunt. So, we've got 20 tons to wipe out Liu Bu. Jun Yu has bought Jun Yu. 20 tons. And quickly, I want to check something. I don't think I'll have time, but he's friends with Yuan Shu and Zhao Yun, who's really good, is friends with Gon Zun Zan and Liu Bei, who's in yellow. So they'll Liu Bei has retreated to Yuan Shao then, and they're going to retreat up there and get them. But anyway, guys, that is us for this episode. Thanks very much for watching. Proud be out to the Lu the new.